Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So about three months ago, the uh, Vevor company got a hold of me. They emailed me and asked me if I wanted to try out some of the products out of their product line. Uh, their product line consists of a lot of tools, uh, a lot of things like margarita machines, soft serve ice cream machines. They've got some cotton candy machines. They've got all kinds of cool stuff in their, in their line. So they gave me a list of things that I could choose from and uh, I seen something that caught my eye and thought I can really use that. It was this crane scale. So let me tell you why I can use this crane scale. A lot of times, since we're in the excavating, we'll come across items that we uh, could either use or things that we collect for like our antique tractors. We find a lot of implements and stuff. And a lot of times the customers are like, well, give me scrap price for it. Well, giving them scrap price is perfectly fine, but we have to load that up, take it to a certified scale and weigh it, which is usually at our local elevator, grain elevator. And then we have to go unload the trailer, take the truck back, truck and trailer back, weigh it and see what the piece weighed that was on the trailer. Vevero had these crane scales, so I thought, you know what? that'll be perfect i can take that crane scale i can either hang it from the excavator like we're going to do today in this video or i can hang it from the bobcat i can lift that item up i can weigh it and then i won't have to mess around with the logistics of moving it to the grain elevator and then back so this crane scale has a capacity up to 5,000 kg which is a little over 11,000 pounds um, to use it, all you got to do is hang it, turn it on, it is all rechargeable, you plug it into the wall, that's why it's out of the box already, I wanted to get it out and get it charged last night so that I could use it today. Um, so I've got it set for pounds right now, but you can take the remote and you can change it to kg, but we're going to be using it in pounds today. So what we'll do is we're going to take it up to the building that we're demolishing and there's an old sears boiler i mean this thing is old cast iron heavy i'm going to lift it up with the 220 hyundai excavator with this crane scale and we're going to weigh it then we are going to take that boiler to the scrap yard run it over the scale and we are going to see how accurate our vevor crane scale is so what we're gonna have to do is we'll get it hung from the excavator we'll hang our rigging that we're going to be using to lift the boiler with from the hook of the scale and then we will zero that out and then we will rig it and we'll lift it that way we are not taking our weight of our rigging into consideration the, the remote will turn the scale off but it will not turn it on. I have not got it to turn the scale on. And you can even zero out with the remote. And I believe uh, there's actually, there's no instructions that came with this, but I believe you can hit this lock button and it'll hold whatever is on the screen on the screen for you so you can see it after you're done. Um, the remote's nice because a lot of times you're going to have so much rigging that your scale is going to be pretty high in the air. So this remote's going to come in handy because you can get it up there and then you can hit the hold button and then bring the scale back down and see what the scale says. So I'm going to get this thrown in the truck. We're going to get up to our job site and uh, we'll give her a try when the sun comes up. It's still uh, pretty early right now and a little cold out so once it uh the sun comes up gets a little warmer out we'll get this out of the truck and uh we'll try it out in the meantime it'll lay in the cold truck and we'll see how well that battery is in there uh, we'll see if it uh, drains it or if it stays up it's probably a lithium ion battery if i was to guess so it's probably a pretty good battery um Strength wise, looks like we've got some really good strong hooks on here. Um, 
looks like a pretty good lifting eye there at the top almost kind of like a lifting shackle i would say there's a load cell in between here i'd hate to take it apart and look um because i don't want to break the seal it's got some it's got a nice rubber seal around this hook to keep dust and moisture out so all together it's a pretty impressive looking product uh, as soon as i took the foam out of the box and looked at it i was really impressed with it so uh, hopefully it uh, works as good as it looks so I will put all the information on this in the comments below. Uh, there will be the link to it at Vevor. So uh, look there if you're interested. So let's get up to the job site and get working. Okay, so we've got the uh, scale rigged up here. is we can't see it from the cab So it's off the ground. Let's go have a look at the screen. So it's just dangling off the ground a little bit. Oh, the screen won't let you uh, show it on the camera. So 78.90 is what this weighs. So 7,890 pounds is what the Hyundai is supporting from this far away. Yeah, we can hang a pickup from it. We'll try it. What do you think, Tyler, of the new crane scale? It's pretty dope. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, heavy. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. So now we can uh, put this in a scrap container, and they can go weigh it, and we'll uh, see what the official weight is of it. Well, the boiler weighs 7,890 pounds. And I can put it out there full reach with the 220 and uh, still have a little capacity to spare. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it in a scrap dumpster and uh, send her to the scrap. Got dad strength scooting the dumpster a little closer to the pad for me with the bobcat. So I don't have to go over the edge break the edge of the concrete. Okay, so a few days have went by since we've used a crane scale. It's uh, actually sat out in my truck and we've had negative temperatures. It's been down to like negative 25 at night. I just brought it in the shop and uh, if you use an infrared thermometer on it, well, when I just brought it in a minute ago, it was down to 24 degrees. So, oh, there we go. We're back down to 24 and a half degrees. So. Let's see, after sitting in a truck all that time in the cold, let's see if it's still got charge. Look at there. Battery's still good. Battery's at 99%. So uh, it's got a good battery in it. Cold's not gonna affect it. 
We used it in the cold the other morning when we were uh, weighing with it. So uh, I had to wait for the boiler to be hauled in so we could get a weight on it. And the weight come back at 7,872 pounds. When it left, it was 7,890 pounds, or when we lifted it. Now, I blame some of that, the, the difference being because it got banged around and there was some uh, fire bricks still up in it or fire mortar still up in it. A little bit of that fell out. There was a little insulation that fell out of it. Uh, it might have got chipped along the way, broken some cast iron off of it, things like that. So I'm happy with that. That's what, 18 pounds difference. So that's plenty accurate for what I want to do with this. Uh, like I said, we're going to be using it to, uh, if we find uh, implements in a woods or a fence row or something, we're interested in buying them and customer says, give me scrap price. We'll just take this out there. We'll uh, rig it up, weigh it and uh we're good to go so uh what do you think wilson and yeah, wilson don't know what to think so anyways uh very good product i wasn't too nice to it when we were lifting you know i kind of twisted on it a little bit leaned it a little bit while we were picking the load up just to uh see if that affected anything uh everything's still intact all we done was we chipped a little paint off the lifting eye up here but uh, other than that it's good to go so uh, mainly, I wanted to see how tough it was gonna be. And uh, lifting 7,890 pounds uh, really proved it to me. Um, we'll find something heavier to pick up with it along the way. Uh, we'll do some other things with it. Uh, but uh, I can get this video edited up now and get it put on YouTube and try out another product from Vevor. So, uh, like I said, check them out online. Uh, they've got all kinds of stuff in their tool line and all kinds of other cool things. Uh, I will have a link in the description below for this, uh, this crane scale and all their other products. So anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one.